Hello everyone, this is Subham from My Circuit Crocs and in this video we are going to interface a 7 segment display with Arduino and display digits from 0 to 9 in ascending order and then from 9 to 0 in descending order simultaneously. So let's get started. Beginning with the components, the first thing you need is a breadboard, second connecting wires male to male, third 7 segment display, fourth 220 ohm resistance and Arduino Uno R3. Now let us implement this circuit. Take a breadboard, mount a 7 segment display on the breadboard. As we can see in the circuit, the common pin of the 7 segment display is connected to 220 ohm resistor. So we need to connect a 220 ohm resistance to the common pin of 7 segment display. Now moving on, the other terminal of 220 ohm resistance is connected to plus 5 volts. So connect the plus 5 volts to the, uh, uh, the second terminal of the resistance. Now as you can see in the circuit diagram, all the pins above are connected to various ports in the Arduino. Now we will connect A segment to the 8th port of Arduino, B segment to the 7th port of Arduino, C segment to the 3rd port of Arduino, D segment to 4th port of Arduino, E segment to 5th port of Arduino and similarly G segment to 9th port of Arduino and F segment to the 10th port of Arduino. Now let us connect the connections on the breadboard. We will connect a wire to the segment A and place it on the 8th port in Arduino. Take another wire, insert it into G segment. And connect it on the 7th port. Now similarly, we will connect a wire in the C pin and connect it in the third port of Arduino. Likewise, segment to the fourth port of the Arduino we'll do it quickly E segment to the fifth port to the ninth port and lastly the tenth segment F segment to the tenth port so we are now done with the interfacing of seven segment now let us glow this seven segment display From there, let us look at the program to count up digits from 0 to 9 and count down from 9 to 0 on 7 segment display. Here I have declared the loop variables i and k which I will use later on in my program. Now I have initialized all the 7 segments with its corresponding port numbers on the Arduino. For your reference, look at this figure. From this, we see that the segment A is connected to the 8th port. Segment B is connected to 7th port, segment C is connected to 3rd port, 
segment D is connected to the fourth port and likewise all the ports are connected to their corresponding pins. Void setup. Now here we enter the program. This function pin mode sets the ports 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9 and 10 as output ports. And After this I have defined a function func in which I have a switch case. The switch variable receives the value of j and decides which case is to be executed. I have a total 10 cases starting from case 0 to case 9. Now we will look at how 0 will be dis uh, displayed on the 7 segment display. All now for displaying 0 we need to give high to this pin because we don't want this to glow. So we have given high to segment G. As it is common anode, so to glow the LEDs, we need to ground all the other segments here. That's why I have given low to all the other segments expect G. Now look at 1. For glowing 1, we want segment B and segment C to glow and all the segments to be turned off. That's why segment A, segment D, E, F, G are given high. For 2, for two the segment F and segment C will not glow. That's why segment C and segment F is given high and likewise the rest of the programming has been done. Now why this delay function is given? This is given so that we can hold the output for one second. Moving on to 5. If we want to glow 5 then B will be off, E will be off and rest all will glow. That's why B is high, E is high and rest are low. Similarly you can decide for 6 7, 8 and 9. Nine. Now let us look at our third part of the program. This is the part where we have the code for counting up the digits from 0 to 9 and counting down digits from 9 to 0. This for loop is for counting up from 0 to 9 and this for loop is for counting down from 9 to 0. Now what is happening in this for loop? We have i equal to 0 which is passed to the function func. Let's go. Zero here. When the value of i is passed 0 here, this is assigned to the switch variable count and correspondingly the case 0 is executed. Now let us look at the second for loop. In this for loop, this for loop is counting down from 9 to 0. That's why it starts from 9 and each time it is decremented until it becomes 0. So that's all. Now let us upload this program to the board. You can see it is uploading and it has written the message down, done uploading. Now I have uploaded the program to the board. You can see the output. It is counting from 0 to 9 and then from 9 to 0. That's all for this video. I'll be coming up with more and more interesting videos. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed yet, then do subscribe.